Hey guys, Dark the Atheist from Secular Gaming World here. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the underscan problem. Now this applies to people who have ATI graphics cards and are connecting to a HDTV with a HDMI output. Uh, of course, sometimes people can get this problem without a HDMI output. Sometimes they use VGA or DVI or something like that. But uh, in my case, it's a HDMI cable. Right, so... Uh, to show you the problem, first thing we're going to do is start Crysis in DirectX 10. So I'll just click that. Now it will take a little bit of a while to start because it, it applies to the problem really. It does slow down your game as well, uh, this issue. Uh, otherwise this will start straight away. Right. Okay, so we're going to switch to my camera. And as you can see my TV says 1920x1080 at 24 hertz. This is the main issue, and as you're seeing right now, you, can't, you can see, you can hear, but you can't see. There we go. It's really laggy, really horrible, takes ages to start, it's at 24 hertz. Skip all this, and um, just wait for this to go away, and there you see, it's, uh, it's under scanned a lot. See, this is where the screen starts, and it's under scanned this far, and here and here. Right, so... Let's quit this and fix this problem because this is a problem that a lot of people are having and I've spent months on the forums TV saying 1920 by 1080 60 so let's switch back to Cam Studio. Right, okay. So this is a problem people have had. I've had problems for months about this, some people have had years and I found a fix for the problem. This is Catalyst Control Center. Uh, I'm not sure what version this is. Let's just see if it says. Version 2010. I'm not sure what that is, 10.8, 10 point, could be 10.2 to 10.9 for all I know. Right, so, first thing you want to do is go on to desktops and displays. Get to, and here's our screen. We want to go to, not click on the big version, but a little TV down here, the little icon there. Click on the little arrow and configure. Alright, now we've got image scaling down here. Enable GPU scaling, scale image to full panel size and click apply. There we go. If I switch to my camera, TV is telling me it's still at 60 hertz. Switch back to Cam Studio. Uh, now we're going to HDTV support. So we scroll down into this first box. Now find, add 1080p 24 format to the Display Manager HD and uncheck that. That has to be unchecked. And we just scroll down to the bottom menu and find 1080p 60 standard 1920x1080 60Hz apply format. I'm not sure if that part really does anything. Switch to my camera, go back to 60Hz, switch back to Cam Studio. Right, now we click apply again. And oh, wait, no, if you click apply format, you don't need to click apply at the bottom, it's already applied. Uh, so yeah. And okay, and that should fix it. Now, if we load up Crisis. Again, it loads up a lot faster this time. Switch back to the camera. Ah, oh, there we go. Now it says 1920 by 1080 at 50 hertz. So it's not 60 hertz, but the important thing is it's not lagging, as you can see. That's a lot better than before. And it's full screen. The important thing is it's not 24 hertz, it's full screen, and the game will run a lot, lot smoother. As you can see, look, here we go. Image scaling has been fixed. So if I keep nudging the camera every time I move my arm. But yeah, and the game's worn a lot smoother. A uh, couple of pieces of advice. If you find that you've got Catalyst Control Center ATI on you, games seem a bit slow. Disable Catalyst Control Center. It's usually, switch back to Cam Studio. It's usually at the bottom here. Uh, you'll see the ATI logo. Right click and disable it. It's not up there because I've already disabled it. Or, if you go into your game configuration files... Find your game, whatever game it is, configuration files, and start in window mode. And then when you start the game, you press Alt-N to make it full screen. That fixes the problem as well. And I discovered that through the Mass Effect 2, where it actually has that option uh, in the game, which is quite interesting. Uh, and But honestly, a better way is just to disable Catalyst Control Center. But if you're really having trouble, go to the game configuration files and do that. But there you have it. That is the um, ATI HDTV underscan problem fixed. Uh, thank you very much for watching. This is Dark the Atheist from Secular Gaming World. Peace out.